The Institute for the Study of War has estimated that the Russians have advanced no more than 8 kilometers from the border in the northern part of Kharkiv Oblast and intend to establish a buffer zone rather than advance deeper. ISW noted that the pace of Russian offensive operations in the northern part of Kharkiv Oblast has continued to decrease after the Russians initially occupied areas that, as now confirmed by Ukrainian officials, were less defended. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Ukrainian military officials stated that Ukrainian forces have partially stabilized the situation in the northern part of Kharkiv Oblast, which borders Russia. Nazar Valashin, spokesperson for the Kortitsia Operational Strategic Group, stated that Russian forces are trying to achieve tactical successes near the settlements of Lukyansi and Vovchansk to establish footholds for further advancement, but Ukrainian counterattacks, shelling and drone strikes were preventing Russian forces from consolidating in these areas. The Kharkiv Oblast administration representatives stated that constant Russian attacks were preventing Ukrainian forces from establishing fortifications within 3 to 5 kilometers from the border with Russia in Kharkiv Oblast. They added that Ukrainian forces have constructed the first and second lines of defense at distances of 12 to 13 kilometers and 20 kilometers from the border, respectively. ISW estimates show that Russian forces have advanced at most 8 kilometers from the border in the northern part of Kharkiv Oblast. The forces operating on Russian territory can easily deliver artillery strikes on Ukrainian defensive positions near the border. However, restrictions on the use of Western-provided weapon systems to strike rear Russian areas across the border make stationary Ukrainian defensive positions near the border vulnerable and possibly defenseless. Thank you.